guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen, also known as Lovely Kristen. I am a fourth grade special education paraprofessional, but I am in school to be a teacher. I'm getting my master's in elementary education. Once I'm done, I'll be certified to teach K through eighth grade. So yeah, guys, welcome back and welcome to those of you who may be new. But yeah, I decided to go ahead and start a new vlog today. Today is Monday, January the 30th. So I decided to start vlogging today. I'm so excited to be filming. Um, I just got done with bus and car duty. So it's been a struggle, guys. It has been a struggle get here in the mornings. You know, I have to be here at seven o'clock to be in place for bus and car duty. And I'm outside from seven to 7.45 doing that. And then at 7.55, eight o'clock is when I, you know, get ready for my, or I start my first class of the day. And so, I'm getting ready to head to my first class. And so, yeah, guys, I will check in with you during planning. You know, typically Mondays and Tuesdays, I don't have anything to do during planning. Um, it's usually Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays that I do multiplication interventions with the classes that I have computer lab, which I explained to you guys about that in a previous vlog. And so today should be a chill day. I sometimes will use planning to get field experience hours in, which, you know, was approved by admin. So don't worry about that. So yeah, guys, I am about to head to my first class and I will see you guys in a little bit. Now that one, that was four. Oh, that was four. That's okay, you're doing great. Okay. Did you say nine times nine is 91 or? Nine times nine is 81. 81, okay, good. I know that. I was so you say it and then you check yourself, right? Ready. You gonna play the bingo? Nine times 10. It's two times ten. What's two times ten? Twenty. Twenty. Good. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. Ooh. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday, and I wanted to show you guys my outfit. It's going to be hard to kind of show you guys. But I love my outfit today. Good morning. Oh. Broadcasting is ready for So, guys, it's planning time. The kids are going to special, so I thought it would be a good time to catch you guys up i didn't get to finish filming this morning because a teacher came in so hopefully i can catch you guys up real quick hopefully nobody comes in so i just wanted to tell you guys that mainly um you know i support social studies and science but um i do a little bit of math some days too well most days but um mainly social studies and science and so um i want to tell you what we've been working on so and social studies, they've been learning about the westward expansion. So we've been talking about the Louisiana Purchase, the Lewis and Clark Expedition, the Oregon Trail, different things like that is what we've talked about so far. Um, they labeled some maps and answered questions related to, you know, westward expansion and all of that. And then um, in science, we've been talking about weather maps, so like weather and climate and um, weather maps, predicting weather, all of that. They got their study guide, so they have a test coming up soon on that. Um, and so, yeah, that's been really fun. I've actually been really enjoying um, doing that, like looking at different weather maps, and we've been talking about like warm fronts and cold fronts and just predicting weather. And so that's been a lot of fun. And then we got this sheet with like different symbols like cold front warm front like if it's sunny cloudy high pressure low pressure you know snowy weather um rainy weather all that stuff so yeah 
Um, what else? And then in math, they've been talking about fractions. So they had a quick check yesterday um, on decomposing fractions and then adding fractions with like denominators. And then if it's an improper fraction, converting that to a mixed number. So this is what their quick check looks like. There's only eight questions. And they, for the most part, are doing pretty good with fractions. Um, sorry if my head's a little cut off. But for the most part, they're doing pretty good with fractions. They are getting a little stuck with uh, converting a um, improper fraction into a mixed number. They're getting a little stuck with that. Um, they're going to be learning something the teacher said that's a little bit challenging today. I'm not sure exactly what because so far they've just been adding and subtracting fractions and with like denominators and then again if it's a improper fraction turn that into a mixed number so i'm not really sure what they're going to be doing specifically today that's going to be um kind of challenging for them but i guess i'll find out but yeah so the rest of this time i'm just going to i made some multiplication flashcards. Um, so that I don't always have to go get some from the other teachers. So I made some for the groups that I work with Mondays and Wednesdays um, for one of the classes. And so I'm just going to hole punch those so that I can use the little book ring to keep them all together. So that's what I plan to do during this time. And then I'm probably going to do a little schoolwork unless a teacher tells me that they need me to do something else. So yeah, um, I did get word that I have to cover a class for a little bit today. So I'll do that at from 1045 to 12 o'clock, I believe. So I'll be covering a class. I won't be by myself though. I'll be with the student teacher. So that's good. And yeah, that's pretty much all I kind of wanted to update you guys on. I told you what we're doing, social studies, science, and then math. And like you guys know, I don't really support reading or ELA like that at all. Like, I'm not in there when they do it. Um, so, but I do know that they are, they started opinion writing, which is fun. I always enjoyed that when I was in school. So that's what they're doing in ELA. But yeah, guys, I will check in at some point today. Um, if you guys saw the clips yesterday when I was doing multiplication intervention at the end of the day, I always do that at the end of the day on Mondays and Wednesdays. And so that's why I made these card flashcards, multiplication flashcards. Um, and so the kids have really been enjoying the games. And so they love that multiplication bingo. And um, whenever they win, I give them like three options to choose from. Whoever wins, they can either get a sticker, candy, or a fidget and Obviously, they've been choosing like fidgets. Um, one of them chose candy. So I told them, I said, I'll go pick that stuff up today so that I can give them their prizes. Um, I gave the ones from last week their prizes. So I have to get the ones from this week. But they've been loving those math games. And I told them, I said, we're not going to always play, you know, math games. We're going to do flashcards. So had some kids, some students come in. So I had to end that. But I need to go close the door. It's always, I'm always so awkward whenever I'm caught filming. It's always so awkward, but obviously I can't have like kids in the background of my video where you can see them. So, you know, I had to end that. But even like earlier when I was filming and the substitute teacher walked in, and I know I was at it so awkward. I don't like for people to watch me film. It's like I'm still getting used to filming. And so it's just always so awkward <laughs> and funny. But yeah, let me go hole punch these flashcards and try to get some of my schoolwork done if I can. I'll check in with you guys later. I won. guys, I just got done with reading intervention. We were reading about how bees 
make honey. I showed you guys in the previous clip. I'm talking kind of fast because I need to get out there to help with this missile. But anyways, um, so yeah, and the kids were using different color pencils and crayons to like highlight their text evidence, which I really like that. Um, I can tell the kids are liking these types of passages a lot better than the ones that we were doing like previously. These are just more interactive and so I really like them. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm about to, oh, when we got done, they were like, do we have enough time to play the um, multiplication math game? And so they played this one, multiplication machine. If you guys watched my teacher hauls and what's in my teacher bag video, you guys would have saw the games. I will link it in the description box for those of you who have not seen it. You should check it out. But they are obsessed with those games. Like they're always asking, can we play the games? Can we play the games? But anyways, um, let me head on out front and i will check in with you guys maybe tomorrow because i don't think i may take you guys with me to get the prizes that i was telling you about earlier for the ones who won the multiplication bingo and i may take you with me to get their prizes and show you what i ended up getting them but if not i will check in with you guys tomorrow hey guys good morning it is wednesday i wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit so these pants and this shirt and this lanyard were all in my teacher clothing haul. Let me prop you guys up. All right, so yeah, I have these cute little heart earrings. You guys may have noticed them yesterday because I wore them yesterday. But I wanted to show you guys what I picked up for the kids because I like prizes and just treats. So I got these fuzzy friends all this stuff is from Dollar Tree and they are chocolate scented and guys they smell so good so I just picked up three but I may go back and get more so I got a pink one brown one and a white one you know just something cute for Valentine's Day if the kiddos want one uh, one of them requested Sour Patch Kids and another one requested Bridget. So this is like all they really had. I see some of the kids playing with these sometimes. So I picked up a few of those. And then I got some fudge chocolate candies. Valentine's Day ones. So super cute. I want the caramel filled ones. But I don't think I saw those. But those are my favorite. So I'll have to go back in but I just wanted to show you guys what I picked up for them. Normally, it's just all filled with candy, but when I gave them the three options, um, when we started playing the bingo games, I told them they could choose from, um, they could choose between sticker, candy, and fidget. So yeah, and one of my coworkers, She's on maternity leave now. I miss her, but she gave me a bunch of Valentine's Day stuff um, before she left. And so I'm going to go through that stuff and see if there is anything from that stuff that I can include in here. And I'll show you guys if so. Seven times three. Seven times three. Settling down, 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 down. Falling in love.